Hey, everybody. Super intriguing and important conversation today regarding assistive voice technology powered by AI with a true innovator in this field at WISP. Joris, how are you? Farewell. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, thanks for being here and thanks for the amazing work you're doing, really uh, transformational work in uh, the disability uh, uh, space. Um, we're going to do a quick video in a moment, but perhaps we'll start with introductions to yourself, a little bit about your journey and what, what inspired the inception of, of WISP and your app. Yeah, that's a good question. And I think you will notice that soon because I, I tend to stutter uh, uh, myself. And as a child, I had a more severe stutter. Um, and um, yeah, so I uh, kind of uh, felt the pain of not be, uh, uh, being able to express myself when I was a kid and mainly at high school that, that was, um, yeah, a, a, a burden for me. Uh, so, and about five and a half years ago now, uh, I came up with the core idea for WISP that is based on the fact that people who stutter severely when they whisper, they are really fluent. That's a neurological phenomenon. Mm. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the idea was born to, yeah, to convert this whispered speech in real time into a clear and natural voice of the person. So that was the start. Yeah. Amazing. We're going to talk about the rest of the journey and more, but I think it, it would inform us to watch this video from your, your website. Uh, let me add it up here and mm -hmm. we can watch together and then I'm sure I'll have lots of questions. So let's take a look and uh, check it out. Als ik bel, is dat best wel eens lastig, want dan moet ik dingen twee, drie keer herhalen omdat ze me niet verstaan. En dat kost best een hoop energie. WISP's real-time and language-independent assistive voice technology and calling app converts whispered and affected speech into a clear, natural voice of your choice. Personalize your WISP voice with in-app recordings or recordings from your past healthy voice so it sounds like you. WISP works for all kinds of voice disabilities and voice types, but your articulation should be relatively clear. Reach anyone on their mobile or fixed number. They don't need to download the app. Invite family, friends and colleagues to use WISP for free, so they can always call and video call you. WISP enables you to express yourself again. It's our mission to empower you every day, to make your life easier and you happier. Well, it's an incredible uh, video there and uh, really eye-opening to, to see in action so maybe let, I'm a techie, so I, I love to talk tech, but we'll start with what's the core technology behind with uh, uh, assisted voice technology? It looks like there's a lot going on there. What what um, What's powering uh, this app? Yeah, so, so we started five and a half years ago. Um, so that seems a long time ago, right? With, uh, with the... <laughs> had the uh, uh, the, uh, the most recent one, one, one and a half years, uh, uh, big AI wave that uh, uh, came to us. Um, but what we, what makes us really different is that we use an, an audio to audio based AI, because mm -hmm. uh, for us the latency, the low latency, is really important. There are many solutions that deliver value for people. Yeah, for example, with ALS, Parkinson's disease, who have um, an affected articulation. So and then it's about ASAR for, for non-standard speech. But having that converted and then synthesizing the text takes, in general, two, three, four seconds. Uh, people have to pronounce, for example, one phrase, one sentence, and then wait for the synthesis of the spoken um, uh, text and for people for example who who lost their voice due to throat cancer focal cord paralysis um, this doesn't really add value because they pronounce really uh, uh, clearly but they just 
lost their voice. So mm. for, for us, this low latency conversion is really what makes a WISP so, so special. It is special indeed. And just looking at the many videos you have on your site <clears throat> brings that across. So how do you, you know, what's the sort of science behind the natural quality of the converted voice? You, you maintain intonation and emotion and God, there's so, so much that comes across in one's voice, but you managed to capture that. Uh, tell tell yeah. us more. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we don't convert the the audio to text. Of course, there there um, had the magic happens there to to kind of create deep features and then synthesizing uh, 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 them again. So um, it is really about um, converting each frame of twenty milliseconds from this whispered speech or affected speech into these features and then synthesizing them back to regular and a natural sounding voice. So you can choose between preset voices, but when you have recordings of the past, we can recreate your voice back. So we need about two minutes of your healthy voice. So people, for example, who stutter se uh, severely, they can, and that's a, uh, by the way, a strange mechanism when they talk, uh, when they're, for example, alone, they are much, much more, more fluent than they feel than when they feel the pressure of having a conversation uh, mm. with uh, someone. So they are able to, with the WISP app, record their own personal WISP voice by recording uh, the sentences uh, uh, that are uh, projected so uh, when you have an you, you still have your 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 healthy voice uh, that is possible people for example with spasmodic dysphonia when they start whispering they are also much more relaxed their vocal cords do not cramp um when they uh, uh whisper so so uh, so that's the 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 whisper um had the the advantage of using whispered speech, but for people, have, for example, with with focal cord paralysis or uh, throat cancer, they just talk like like they do. And when you don't have your healthy voice anymore, you can submit them, send uh, those recordings uh, to us, and we re we kind of restore the voice of uh, the person uh, with their healthy um, voice re recordings. Amazing. It sounds like science fiction, but it's it's here today. Well, well done. So it must have been quite a challenge in developing <clears> an AI that works across so many different languages and accents. And of course, many languages there are dialects. How did you sort of overcome all of that? Yeah. Yeah. When you download the app and people can, by the way, download the app uh, for free. And I'm just showing you the screen of the different languages that we are currently supporting. Mm. So it's Dutch, Belgium, it's English. And here you see, for example, the English, it's 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 about English US and English UK, right? So mm. we 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 have one large whisper to speech model, but by selecting the the language, you kind of fine-tune the accent. So when we don't do that, it would be kind of have this English American accent when I speak Dutch or when I speak French. But by selecting the, spe the specific language, it's actually not really the language you, that you select, right? But it's it's more the the accents of that specific language that are kind of fine tuned. Yeah, well, it, it's it's amazing to see. And, you know, you must personally see so many mm -hmm. lives enhanced and improved. You, you must see so many personal stories firsthand, maybe. And you show some of that on the website. Talk talk a little bit about the impact. It's uh, extraordinary. Yeah, it is when you have your voice and you can speak like we do. And 
I am not kind of uh, from a stutter perspective. I I'm just a mild stutterer, so mm. I am. I mean, the idea. I really felt the pain of not not being able to express myself, and when I'm tired, I'm much less fluent, and mm. when I'm stressed out, it's really a social psychology uh, psychological um, uh, mechanism. Um, but for example, people who who lost their voice due to, yeah, for example, throat cancer, and like um, uh, had a man in the video. Uh, people don't go to social events anymore, to mm. a party or to to the restaurant with their spouse. So people get, uh, in many cases, so. Uh, 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 socially isolated, and it's mm. the self confidence. It, it's it's about expressing the things you you feel and and your thoughts. It's you just can't imagine um, when that's happening to you. And yeah, we really hope to help more and more people in the upcoming years um, had to had to let them express themselves better. Oh, it's wonderful. So, so great. And, and, you know, many of us are familiar with uh, text to speech technology, voice synthesis from movies or even real life, but going back to like Stephen Hawking infamously. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, how is your technology sort of different than that, which has been around for a while exactly? Because it, it is quite unique. Yeah. So, till now, um, it seems that we are the only company doing this. Um, mm. um, and uh, for example, known companies like Voice It, it it's an, a company, a company they, they are heavily into the um, ASR for non-standard speech. And of course there is Project Relate from Google. So there are many initiatives that focus on this, on this ASR for for non-standard speech, but until now, until now, like I mentioned, there was a large um, uh, uh, a large population that was underserved. Um, yeah, people who can articulate uh, or have a moderate to good uh, 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 articulation, but lost their their voice. Um, mm. So with a big, big advantage of the the low latency that the uh, that we can deliver, because for a natural conversation with a natural flow, of course, mm. having just a latency of one second it, it is um, yeah, for many cases uh, too much already. Yeah, I, I totally understand. Um, so the market. You know, is is obviously very new for this, and what's been the feedback? Not just from individuals, which has been phenomenal, but healthcare providers, maybe uh, organizations, NGOs, governments. Uh, hopefully, you've gotten the support you deserve. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so there, there's a lot of positive responses. Of course, I, I think we have been from the start working closely together with speech therapists with cl with cl uh, uh, clinicians and for example we are uh, collaborating with the Dutch Cancer Institute they are mm. they are currently further uh, e evaluating our uh, speech technology um, uh, and um, recently we we were accepted by the HTEC collaborative Accel uh, accelerator program in the US, it's uh, focusing on age uh, tech. Uh, and I think that is a really good, um, really nice confirmation. And it, and it's really an honor to be part of, of that uh, program. Uh, there's a lot of, um, um, uh, yeah, I mean, for startups there, yeah, this is a really, really powerful platform to had to be part of. Oh, that's phenomenal. Um, and and as as an organization, as as a company, 
you know, what are your goals next in terms of partnerships or maybe integration with other platforms, other kinds of use cases? Uh, there must be so much possibility there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we are currently focusing on uh, collaborations with uh, telcos um, mm. with Net because they sell millions of subscriptions to their customers and a small part of it they actually are not able to make clear and natural phone calls so they pay their their monthly mobile subscription but mm -hmm. yeah they 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 just not use that capability so we think this is a logical um uh, yeah partnership to head too close with uh, with telcos um besides this and that's maybe looking to the future is that probably you also recognize situations where you want to talk but you don't want to disturb people around you or you have more private uh, confidential conversations mm. where you could whisper on the phone right and uh -huh. yeah so and of course currently our technology sounds already wonderful mm, but for mass adoption uh yeah we we should bring it to the next level well i hope you do and i hope this uh, short video helps inform that um it must be very gratifying work of course you realize you're all one step away either directly indirectly through family and friends to requiring wisp so it's it's wonderful to see this technology you know being rolled out thanks very much yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, do, do you have time. any trips or Attention. travel or events coming up? Uh, yeah. What, so, what are you looking forward to the next couple of months? Yeah, so next week we will be in Florida for mm. the Bridge to the Voice AI Symposium. Oh, wow. Um, so, so we will uh, facilitate a joint workshop with um, uh, Dysphonia International. That's the... Uh, mm -hmm. the US-based uh, uh, patient organization for people who will lose their, their uh, uh, voice. Um, and we will me meet, of course, scientists, uh, other startups in the field, mm -hmm. and probably also big tech uh, and companies like Google and Microsoft and Amazon, who are also, uh, yeah, of course, heavily uh, investing in a speech technology and voice AI. Well, yeah, it's it's amazing to see the advancements across the board in accessibility. So this is one of many, so many important measures and, and opportunities. Uh, great work. And do, you know, share, share some posts or uh, social commentary on next week. We're always happy to share that and inform. Yeah, we will do that. Thanks. Community. Um, thanks so much, yours. Thanks everyone for watching and, you know, the app is on the App Store, so you can try it even for informational, educational purposes uh, to get a feel for just this amazing technology. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, yours. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.